then we have uh, three ultra rares. And wow, they are crazy prices. All right, this one is... What's up, guys? And welcome back to another epic unboxing. And yes, the room is finally coming together. Slowly but surely, as you can see, I got my little cabinet set up there with all my collectible items there. Obviously, maybe I'll show off a little bit of video of that, but very, very excited to see what this entails because we're going mystery style, I guess, if you will. I got quite a few to look at, but the first one here is, of course, the Chaos Box. All of these, of course, were was picked up at, uh, at Target, I believe. The second of which is this one right here, the Monster Box. Also, a mystery box, of course. And the third one, yes, there's more. This ultimate, I guess, mystery box, which is bigger, possibly just as crazy. It has this movie one that's kind of interesting, so I'm kind of curious to see what that's about. If it's even in there, you know what I mean? <laughs> if it's even in there. Now, this was picked up years ago. I, 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 I shouldn't say years ago. I, I want to say it was last year, actually. And I just now got around to actually looking at it. Now, we definitely need you guys out there to press a like for luck because we don't even know what's going to be inside. And of course, I haven't watched other videos like this because I, I want to keep it kind of spoiler free for myself. So that way, when I do decide to open it, it's actually a surprise. Price, of course, we, we, we can't do high value prices, but whenever, whenever those packs arrive, I will definitely have like, you know, flashes happening of like what, what are the top three cards as we open up those packs. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, we are going with first with the Chaos Box. Now on here, it says it has two booster boxes, a, a light pack and a 50 card sleeve. So basically uh, one of these uh, uh, sleeves, which is kind of cool, I guess. Um, hopefully it's the, uh, the IP Mascarina because I, I, I kind of want that one. But yes, let's go ahead and open it. Where's my handy dandy scissors or scissors? Actually, do I even need scissors? No, I don't. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. All right, let's see. Let's see if it's good. Let's see if it's good. All right. Let's get, we got some sleeves here. All right, let's reveal the sleeves. Hopefully it's what I want. And it's not what I want. What the hell is this crap? Ooh, brother, ooh. Who is this? What is this? They at least have like some kind of like monster card or something. What is this? I don't know, whatever. All right, what packs did we get? All right, this is the light pack, which looks like, yep. Legendary Duelist of Magical Heroes. All right, so that, uh, I'm, I'm actually happy about that one because I, I, I'm trying to collect more of those. But these don't have anything cool anyway on them. The next one is Tactical Masters, which is a pretty terrible set. And the third is Blazing Vortex, which I think is decent. All right, um, let's open up the light pack first. So I move these out of the way before I hurt myself. <gasps> Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Okay, Pendulum D Dimension, the Skyscraper. And a rare of the uh, Ono Mato pick Pickup. Probably not super high value. It's definitely not any of the top three that we saw earlier. Let me make a guess here, 15 cents. Ah, higher than I thought, higher than I thought. But still bad at 21 cents. So not even that great, not even that great. All right, we kind of knew that, but it still adds to my collection of that set. Um, I still, I'm, I'm still trying to get um, first edition of those sets. So I actually might not, not even keep this because these are not, not even first edition. Actually, it is. It is. Okay. So yeah, at least adds to my collection at least. All right, let's go into Tactical Masters. Um, I don't remember opening up much of these at all. Uh, maybe a one pack pull, maybe? There's actually some decent high value top threes on here that we can actually open. Um, maybe we'll get it. Collector's Rare? I don't I don't know. I, I, I'm usually bad luck with collectors. And on average, I've noticed, like with these like random randomized sets, you don't really get collector's rare. Uh, I think it's two to the point. I think. At least the first editions, though. We have the Cosmic Cyclone, which I think was the card. Ooh, I did a card trick wrong. Super rare of the Runic of Flashing Fire. Um, ooh, another one. No, never mind. Okay, I, I forgot the collector collector's rare sets don't have like commons. Uh, Runic Allure. The Trap Trick, the Duelist Alliance, the Labyrinth, what is it called? The uh, 
can can drag leader can drag leader and the rare of the valence valence i guess voltage this this count this count, i guess but the high value well high high ish file is this super rare here the runic flashing fire first time i ever saw this one so i'm gonna kind of read it right now activate one of these effects but skip your next battle phase after activation target one special summon uh monster your opponent controls destroy it so it has to be a special summon specifically okay um destroy it then banish the top two cards from your opponent's deck that's actually kind of useful or you can special summon one runic monster from your from your extra deck to the extra monster zone don't active that's actually, actually kind of decent it's actually kind of decent if you have like a like a runic uh deck to use Decent price for a super, but still bad at 86 cents. 86. The one thing that sucks about like having these like random packs as well is uh we have to sort them out individually. Like like I like having those like massive openings I do for like a single booster box because I I can at least have only have one binder, but I have all these multiple sets, I'm gonna have to get multiple binders. Which reminds me of today's sponsor. Yes, Ultra Pro Binders. I wasn't expecting a, a, a segue, but that's actually a pretty good segue. I got more colors, obviously, but these are, of course, some of the colors you get from the Ultra Pro Binder Collection. Now, I like using the vivid ones. I like the fact that it has uh, zippers, so you can actually close it up nicely. There's no straps to deal with. It also like feels leathery. Well, it is leather. I shouldn't say it feels leather. It is leather. And it, so it doesn't have that plasticky feel like oh, with other, uh, I believe it's the Eclipse ones, which I don't really like too much, but you know, preference of course. But definitely guys, check out that feel link down below. It does help support the show. It's an Amazon affiliate link, but it, it goes a long way in helping like videos like this every single week. And of course, thank you to those who have checked that out. Love you guys. And of course, back with some more epic unboxing. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. All right, we have the fate. Uh, uh, I'm sure uh, what the card trick is. I think it's four. Let's, let's do four. Let's do four. All right, we have the Dream Mirror Recap, the Dual Avatar Ascendant, Ascendance. We have the Dogmatica Genesis, the Spring It Call, the Fabled. Uh, Marcosia, the guitar, something duo Nijis, I guess. Uh, we have the Spring of the Iron uh, Dash Dragon, the Paramedaphos Melcaster, and a super rare. I wasn't expecting anything crazy like an ultra rare or anything like that, but it's a super rare of the Material Reactor Giga Dra Dry Draw, something like that. Words, man, words. I remember I opened up Blazing a long time ago. So if you guys want to check out like a full unboxing on Blazing Vortex when I had my old setup in my old house, check out the video right here, of course. I don't think I've completed the set either. So I'm like um, definitely open to opening up uh, more Blazing. Maybe in Versus down the road, I don't know. All right, 81, very bad, <laughs> very bad. At 14 cents, 14 times the disappointments. All right, so now a great start for that first mystery box. We're going to roll into the next mystery box here. The monster box, which has eight booster packs. Every box includes eight, apparently. And um, hopefully full, not like those mini ones. Build your collection, blah, blah, blah. Eight assorted, some of your favorite sets of that time, I guess. Um, yeah, so... I mean, these are okay sets, but I'm kind of hoping for like maybe some of the older sets, like maybe Battle of Chaos or that's really it. That's a, from that from that display anyway. But let's see what we get. All right, here we go. Here we go. Where's the opening? I'm already seeing something gold in there. Ooh, there's a promo and a dice. I wasn't I wasn't expecting a die. Did even say it comes with a die? No, it doesn't. But I'm guessing it's from the uh, one of the the which uh, the ones that actually include a die. But let's check this die. Let me see who who we got here. Who do we got here? I'm not sure that who that is. Let me know in the comments who, who that is. But yeah, it's a pretty die. 
And at least it's Yu-Gi-Oh's. <laughs> Mad funny, they can be like a Pokemon die. It's like, what the hell? All right, promo card here. I have a lot of these already. Okay, this is from the uh, uh, HICC1. So the, the, the from this set, basically. The Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1s. Which, funny enough, Chapter 2 never got released. I wonder why. I wonder why. Because it says bad. But yeah, let's check out the value of this one real quick. I think this one is okay i think maybe at least a dollar all right so according to this actually this is actually really good this is actually really good surprisingly good at seven dollars and 16 cents for this secret rare that's actually really good i'm actually surprised about that all right i guess since we starting about the, starting with the hidden uh, arsenal let's go ahead and open up these two right here yeah we actually actually we actually almost got top three which is kind of cool um it was it was actually number four with that with that i guess what they call it a secret rare but whatever this terminal this dual dual tournament technology whatever that is yeah and these this is a lot of a lot of cards in this one so i'm not even sure what the pack trick is so we're just gonna go right into it all right we have the the miss valley baby Dance Princess, Army of Justice, Karibo, the Buzz, Lightyear, the Miss Valley Shaman, Dust, Dust Tornado. Ooh, okay. this is like the the whatever that sparkle is, which I really don't like it. That's probably why it wasn't very popular because it just looks ugly. It makes it look like almost like a, like a fake card. Um, at least I think it looks like a fake card. Um, and then, ooh, that's actually kind of cool. All right, um, we'll price all these out later, I guess. Star Magician, that actually might be decent. Oh, Blue Eyes. Okay, I wasn't expecting that either. Uh, Duality Dusk, okay. So those three are actually kind of decent. Fabled, um, it's called the Butterfly. Fabled, another Ragweed. Kato? 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 I guess. Um, dr Dragonfly and the Beetle. All right, let's check out these three. So, oh, or these four, I should say. All right, I guess we'll start out with this one. And I don't think I pulled any of those cards, so uh, it, it completes the collection, I guess. I guess more blue eyes to collection as a dual, whatever terminal technology common. Uh, Thirteen cents for this, so not great at all. And then we have uh, three ultra rares. All right, let's do this one first. I gotta hit this card. It's so hard to see the number. All right, so this one is an ultra rare. It's still terrible at 16 cents. See what I mean? Like, it just looks weird. I don't know. I don't. I don't really like it. Does anybody like this rarity? <laughs> anybody? All right, let's do uh, Dark Magician next. All right, this one is. 33 cents, so not even great for that card. Better than the other ones, I guess. And now the blue eyes. Numero uno. Wow, doesn't even break a color at 61 cents, so I I guess. I, I guess. Completes the collection? Alright, let's uh, finish it off with this other one. I think, uh, and we'll check out the other cards that we got. Alright, um, I think I did the card trick correctly. All right, anyway, we got the the fabled Nazushi. Is that a fabled uh, Pegulus? Pe Pegusus, I guess. The fabled uh, Ganashia, Sh Shia, Shia LaBeouf, the Guardian, the Rose Whip, the Landos, the Leo Drake, the Miss Valley Soldier, the Alley of Justice Reverse a Break. The Soldier of the Ice Barrier. The Justice Nullify, Nullify, I guess. Harpy Lady number one. Okay. The Flame Well Guard. The Elemental Hero Neos. Okay. And here's our first, I guess, common. The Fabled or Ordos. An Ultra Rare. What is this? Uh, du du Dragoonsi Knight Pars Parsha. Barsha and a fabled green Miru. That looks cool. And another one looks like 
so hard to read the freaking text drew lauren the king the tiger king of the ice barrier so hard to read that all right let's check out this price all right this one is 19 cents for this common this right here to do uh the barch i guess is 16 cents this one is 15 cents for this one i just i just don't like this rarity <laughs> That's why I stopped collecting these. All right, and this one is 25 cents. Yeah, I stopped collecting these, but they keep coming back. They keep coming back. They won't leave me alone. He's got that blue eyes though. That's kind of cool. All right, some of the other packs that included, I kind of skipped over that, but we got the Tactical Masters. Dark Savior, okay. I don't think this was first edition known, which is kind of unfortunate. We had the Lightning Overdrive. This actually might be good, first edition as well. Uh, we have the uh, Massum Gold El Dorado, another El Dorado, and a third El Dorado. So we'll, maybe we'll save the gold cards for later. Um, let's go ahead and open up this non first edition one, which is the only non first edition so far. Dark Savior. I don't even remember this. When did, when did this set come out? But the editor would definitely have my back on like when it came out because I, I don't remember. Because I, I started collecting around. At least recollecting back again around 2020. Yeah, the, the damn pandemic. Now looking at the top three, even for the unlimited ones, not that great. The highest card is only like ten dollars, so I don't, I don't even know, guys. I don't even know. And it opens way too easy. Like that's how the packs used to be back in the day. So I, I'm gonna guess, even though the editor already put it on, I want to guess this came out like 2019. All right, uh, I put two to the front there. We got the Horn of the Phantom Beast. Ooh, I did the card trick wrong, I think. We have the Beat, uh, was a Bladesman for Hire. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm looking at the artwork. That's actually adorable. That's adorable. Too bad it's not first edition, though. We have the Curry Bandit, also cute. The Vampire Sorcerer. Ooh, a Mirror Force. That's just nostalgic. But only as a super, apparently. All right, this is adorable. I like this card, even though it's not first edition. I'm, I, I might keep it. I don't know. As you guys know, I normally collect first editions. I, I, I don't really do unlimiteds, unless I don't know, unless I'm feeling froggy, or in this case, furry <laughs> or catty, catty. Actually, really good price for Unlimited, $4.87. So that is actually quite a surprise for today's video. Wow. I was not expecting that high for, for a cat, for a, for a fighting cat. All right. Next one. Uh, so we opened this one once already, the Tactical Masters. So we, we'll go, let's go ahead and open another one. At least we have another one to like add to the collection. Let's do this. All right, we have the... Uh, Compulsory Evacuation Device. Ooh, the Joel Lockbird. Super rare. Okay. I believe this is the alternative art. Or so, just rare, not super. The Scapegoat. A super rare of the um, Munis, the Rubik, Runic Wings, which I think is the highest value right there. Um, Sinet Switch and the Lilith Lady of the Lament. I think, yeah. And the, it's some kind of archer here. Shy, shy on the archer. Okay. So just the super rare here. Let's check at this price. Surprisingly, very bad as well at 41 cents. But for a super, like I think if, if it's at least 50 cents, it's pretty good, I guess. Pretty good-ish. All right, going with the lightning overdrive. I think there was some, some good cards in here. I don't remember if I opened any lightning overdrives, but yeah. All right, I'm looking at the top three, guys. Like, top three is actually really good. Really good. Um, we definitely want Starlight Rares. I doubt it'd be here. I doubt it. But you never know. You just never know. All right, one, two, three, four. That should be the card trick for this one. All right, AI meets you. I don't remember opening up these, like, as I mentioned, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Crossbreed, the Amaze Attraction, Majestic, the Dan... Oh, okay, that, that looks familiar. Judge of the Ice Barrier, 
the, the black eyes, the plunder. And if I did open it, I, th I think I might have it already annotated. Uh, we have the Guardian Sphinx. Ooh, uh, ultra rare. Okay, okay. R really on? Really, really, really non? The Wondrous Majestus Witch Wardrobe, I guess. All right. I wasn't expecting an ultra, so this actually might be decent. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. 78 cents for this ultra rare. Wow, that is bad. That is bad. All right, final three packs for the second mystery box. Um, obviously, this is way better than the first mystery box, um, but we're still not getting crazy cards. The only crazy card was that maybe that uh, that promo card that was uh, that was given to us. But yeah, El Dorado. I still got a lot of bunch of. I got. A, I still got a bunch of El Dorados I haven't even opened up yet as well in the back storage. All right, top three cards is actually not that great, but, but I still haven't completed it, you know, in terms of my collection. So I'm um, definitely down to open some more of these because uh, what I'm waiting, I'm, what I'm kind of waiting for is um, an like maybe another set to come out potentially that could potentially, uh, uh, did the card trick wrong? That's fine. It's fine. Ultra rare here of the old guys sequestious. Ooh, never mind. Maybe I didn't. This, uh, the golden card of the Scrape uh, Chimera. The Cyanet Cy Mining. The Altegeist um, Marion Netter. Eva, which is some chipping there. I'm not sure if you see that right there. Golden card of the Star Road, Starlight Road. And the number two, Numeron Gate Dive. Okay. So let's see, what do I want to price out? There's actually quite a, a few that I want to price out. Two golden ones, I think. Yeah, I think just two golden ones. It's possible some of these ultra rares might be good, which is kind of funny because uh, I think uh, this video might already be out after, but, but it's of course during the, uh, the Olympics time. So it's all about getting the gold during the Olympics. You guys watching the Olympics? Let me know in the comments. Who are you rooting for? Number 53, not great. Start at 21 cents for this Starlight Road. It's not even a Starlight Rare. This one right here is 48 cents, so equally not as good. All right, what's next in the gold agenda? I'm not sure what the card trick is for this. Um, maybe two different? Nope. Okay, we have the... The uh, Torrential Tribute, uh, that's actually a decent card there. The Prank Kids, uh, Pandemonium. The Number C1, Numerous Chaos Gate. The Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. The Hayata, the Fire Charmer. The Broken Line, and the Numeron Storm Gold card. All right, let's check out these prices. I think. This one might be higher, maybe. This one, of course, is 19 cents. Let's see if my prediction is right. Yeah, I was right, just not by much. 51 cents. Obviously not a super great set, but it's, it's, it's still cool to open up like the gold cards, but I think a lot of people don't really like the gold borders. Um, I can see why. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to grade. Um, it doesn't look, it looks cool, I guess. I, I do three. But for, ooh, okay. That's kind of a good card. Exodia, the Forbidden One, golden card. What if I pulled that one already? I feel like I have. We have the uh, Golden Lan. We have the Prank Kids uh, Fan Fancies. The Ancient Gear Fusion. The Micro Coder. Ooh, okay, the IP Mascarina Gold, okay. And of course we have, got this one already. All right, this is actually, it's actually, these two actually might be decent. Okay, <laughs> not that not that high. 53 cents, but it's still the highest so far, I think, in, in this pull session. All right, finally breaking a dollar at $1.93 for the IP. All right, which of course was expected. All right, I think this is my first in my collection. Is How's the grading on this one? I normally don't grade those cards anyway, when I think about it. For the main reason, they're they don't really like 
the price for, for me to grade it, it doesn't justify the return in my investment. So that's, that's usually how I kind of grade things nowadays. All right, guys, final box, final box. Oh yes, yeah. so this one, it says here, four booster packs, one mystery pack, one structure deck, and one 50 card sleeves. We're still looking for the IP masquerading sleeve, so yeah. And hopefully the mystery box in the star deck is not not terrible either. And hopefully it's first edition, but I don't think so either. All I care about right now is like some better sleeves, you know what I mean? In, in, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. And apparently this is a, a limited holiday edition. All right, here we go. Here we go. So got some blisters here. Interesting. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. The IP sleeves. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for that. This is a really good sign. This is a really good sign. All right. We'll check out the packs in a moment. What, what do we get? Okay. We have the Saga of the Blue Eyes, which I... I Luckily, luckily I, I, I never got this one, so this is actually a good addition. It's not first edition though, as I expected. Um, but it's kind of cool to still have. This one, all right, special edition Rising Rampage, okay. Two of the four super rare variant cards, interesting. That might be interesting. Blister is the Power of the Elements, which is... I think there's only I think there's a few cards that they're that are good there. We'll we'll double check that one. They gave us a blue eyes pack here. 20th anniversary. Okay. We got the hidden summon summoners. I don't I never pulled this one. At least the first edition. That's good. And the next is the Dawn of Majesty, which is actually really good. This is actually kind of decent. This is definitely one of the better ones. Um yeah, first edition here as well. That's good. So the only thing that wasn't first edition is, is these two. I guess we'll start we'll, we'll start with the blue eyes. We'll start with the blue eyes. All right. So obviously the only card that I haven't pulled from the 20th anniversary is the red eyes, which I actually from what it says here is the highest price at $31. So hopefully, hopefully. All right. We have the the meta bat. Kumutoko, the violet crystal, the man eater. Well, man eater bug would be cool too. Um, the Zolver rock. Hitoshimi Giant, the Root Warrior, the Grave uh, Digger Ghoul, and a Flame Swordsman. I don't know. I, I don't know if I pulled this one yet, but if I did, add it to my collection at least. That's good. That was that was decent. That was a terrible start. Let's go ahead and start this one right here. The uh, Rising Rampage. Like I never saw this before. So th apparently this one comes with one of two special rare variants and one of two special rare Link Monster variant cards. Uh, each special edition includes three booster boxes, or so booster packs, and then one of the two. Okay, let's, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Well, I, thought, I thought it comes with two promos, but only, it looks like there's only one, unless there's two inside. All right, so packs are not first editions, as expected. All right, promo card is... Okay, there, okay there's two cards in here, okay. Go open it. All right, the first one is the Solomon Grade uh, Coyote. Okay, we'll check out that price in a moment. And the Link Monster is the Marnie Sess Sea uh, Angel. All right, let's check out that. Check out this price real quick. What year did that set come out too? Why well, don't I remember this set? Pro probably uh, 2019. Wow, look at the, the high values for Rising Rampage for first editions at least. And wow, they are crazy prices. Crazy prices. This one, of course, is 22 cents for this promo. And this one is 56 cents. And according to the promos, this is actually the most highest. So I guess that's a good start. All right, let's go ahead and open up these three packs. All right, we have the FA Shining Star GT, the Link Back, the DMZ Dragon, uh, some more Bird of the Calamity, the Rang Ryu, Ran Ryu, the Volt Tester, was that the uh, Dino Wrestler Marshall Arkilo, I guess, the Rare of the Tenyi Spirit. And a ultra rare, nice. Okay, of the Oculus, the Dream Mirror Sprite. Not first edition, though. Not first edition. 
decent, decent, one of the more decent ones at a dollar and 61 cents. So not terrible, not terrible start. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get a Starlight Rare. That'd be crazy. All right, we have the White Aura Mano Ciros. Maybe we did the card trick wrong, I don't know. Super rare front. The the Blockout Currents. The FA uh, uh, Shining Star GT. The Beat Traptor. The Kikinia Gash, Gashi Fucho, Fuko? Fucro? Cho? Yeah, that one. Uh, Rescue Interlacer. The Onslaught. The Channeling. And the, the Rare of the Berserker of the Tingyi. So just a super, I guess. At 30 cents for that super. All right. Final Rising Ramp. Uh, I want to see if I can, uh, like, maybe I'll get some more of these. There's actually a pretty good set for the Starlights. Might be worth getting some. I got to see how much they are in the... Uh, in the third party markets. All right, we have the cross focus. Okay, we have the cross debug, debug the Yoshenju sword swing, number 29, um, mascot, uh, like Manny Quinn Cat, I guess, the repulsion, the dino wrestler again, the draw discharge, what is it called? The bird of protection, the star power. And another super of darkness. That's how I feel right now. This one is 23 cents. So that Ultra was a surprising result from that, I guess. All right, before we open up the rest of the pack, I'm just going to quickly open up the Saga of the Blue drag, uh, blue Eyes White Dragon uh, structure deck. No need to do uh, high values for this one because they're all the same cards. If it was first edition, maybe I'll keep it like packed up, but... Since, since it's uh, unlimited, it isn't. I, I can open it. All right, so we got the blue eyes. We got the Zurite Silver Dragon, the Maiden of Eyes of Blue, Dragon, Rapid Dragon. Why, why, why does it look so faded? Why does it look weird? It's so dark looking. Uh, the Dragon, Luster Dragon, the Vamage Guard, the Dark Storm Dragon, Mirage Dragon, Divine Dragon, the White Storm Legend, Kaiba Man, of course, the Herald of the Creation, Kaiser Seahorse, Honest, okay, Shining Angel, Burst uh, of Destruction, another Shining Angel, st Stamping Destruction, the Wit would be of the Giant, Trade In, Cards of, I guess, Consoles, the White Elephant Gift, One for One, Monster Reborn. Dragon Tactics, Soul Exchange, Enemy Control, of course, Phoenix Chain, Google Eyes with Chain, D Damage Consensus, Call of the Haunted, Opposite, and uh, the Champion, The Rider of the so uh, Storm, Kaiser the Glider, uh, Her uh, Herak Dragon, The Silver Cry, Swords Revealing Light, Castle of the Dragon Souls, and uh, yeah, talk about Master Duels. At least it's different, at least it's different, but I don't know. The debate if I want to keep it or not, you know what I mean? Because I do want that first edition. All right, back to the pack. I kind of want, uh, let me see here. Let's do the uh, Hidden Summoners. Because I, I don't recall this one at all. Another another pack I'm not too familiar with. This might be the mystery pack they were talking about. Wow, so the top three of these are, are not great at all. <laughs> at all. That's probably why I don't remember because like, Usually as a collector, you want something that's like a decently high value, like, and I don't see any high values at all from this. It looks to be a collector's r set, but without, without the collector's rare, I guess, inclusion. Uh, the highest being, of course, a secret rare. Uh, we have the Yasha, the Skeleton, Maya. That, that might be why they went with the collector's rare to kind of add some spice to it, but yeah, the Secret Rares didn't, wasn't doing doing it justice at that time. The Shafu, the, the Wield Makayashi. So we'll check out that price in a moment. What is that cute card? Okay, I see that. I see, I see you, Defender. Okay. And then the Spectre Sword. It's cute cards, but I guess uh, nobody wanted it. <laughs> nobody wanted it. And this one is 31 cents. 
At least it was first edition, I guess. I guess it didn't really matter which one I do. But I guess I'll do the Power of the Elements because I, I know there's some good cards with Dawn. I, I don't remember what's inside this. And I really hate blisters. I really do. They're so hard to open. That might be why they, why they don't do these kind of blisters anymore. It's just so hard to open. So they, they went with the, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh style of the blisters. Or sorry, the Pokemon style of the blisters. All right, so yeah, definitely decent top three on that one for sure. So I'm excited about what to pull from the power of the elements. I only pulled very few of this one, um, but I think this came out, I want to say it came out in 2020, I think, but I don't remember like actually opening up that much. Maybe tail end of 2019, I don't know, but I do remember it. I just don't know why. The Tyrament, the, the Bicros Gatti, Roti, Tyramint, Crime, Crime, I guess, whatever. The Sentry of the Gotti, the Mir Miramithis, Testament, Hey something. <laughs> the Vanguard of the Underground Emperor, uh, the Thorning Mountains. Looks like Winnie the Pooh. Right? Kind of? Except with the freaking. I don't know, whatever. And only a super, only a super of the Rika Con Con. Cute card, I guess, but not what we're looking for. All right, this one is 25 cents. So not great at all. All right, guys, after a long pull session, we got down to the final pack, the Dawn of Majesty, which I did pull quite a lot of, a lot of when I first started a pack. Like, like 2020, when I started doing my when I first started doing unboxing videos, I was pulling like crazy amount of money. Like, like it was, it wasn't even like, it was a mixture of addiction, but also like, uh, you know, obviously being a collector, you have to, you know, collect a hundred percent every single pack, but it just wasn't a good business move financially because it, I wasn't really making the returns in that investment. Uh, so now I'm kind of like slimming down of how much I open. As I grow in this channel, obviously I'll, I'll, I'll start opening up more packs. Maybe one day, if it makes sense financially, I'll do cases one day. But right now, it just does not make sense to do a case or more than a booster box at a time, uh, just to make it financial make sense for this small business that I call YouTube, I guess. But anyway, enough rambling, guys. Press the like for luck. But if you do want to see the Dawn and Majesty, the, the epic pulls that I did from there, definitely check out that video right there. All right, so obviously the card that still eludes me to this day is that Stardust Dragon. Wow, what a crazy price. $354 for that Starlight Rare. And I want it. I want it so bad. But am I going to open another case for it? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of gave up that boat a long time ago just for my sanity and my, my wallet. <laughs> All right, we have the Jaw... 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 jaw. Jar of Generosity, Brandon Bond, the Tailwind of Gusto, Majestic Key Duo, the Cano, oh, it's a cute, it's a cute card, yeah, I don't know what you, Stardust Trail, uh, ooh, the Sushi's back, Sushi, Converging Will's Dragon, and a Super Rare only to finish it off, which I'm pretty sure I got already. All right, 11 cents for this disappointment. But overall, I don't think I was that disappointed with the polls. Like, like granted, we didn't pull anything higher than ten dollars, I think. But overall, it was actually a really good set. Um, I think the, the best one, of course, is probably this box, if not maybe this box. These two right here. If you see th these in Walmart or Costco or oh, Costco, sorry, Walmart or Target. Uh, th those actually might be worth getting. If you see any of the chaos boxes, probably not. Probably not. You might get lucky, but the chance of you getting lucky might be uh, slim to none. You might end up getting sleeves like this. Womp, womp, womp. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like that mystery box. If you guys want to see another mystery box, I did one for Pokemon a while back. Check out the video right over here. I think there's some other stuff in there as well. I like uh, some some surprises that might be there so definitely check that out my name is talos and i'm going to see you next time peace